Meet Paul. Paul grew up on Long Island, just across the city line from Queens, New York. He has lived in Brooks County since 1978. He is the grateful husband of Nancy, proud father of three, and delighted grandfather of seven. Paul is a clinical psychologist, a former JCC board member and treasurer, and past president of the Pennsylvania Psychological Association. Schwarz is ein Ayid. It's tough to be a Jew. I heard that many times growing up. I understood the words, but it took time to get the concept. As a young boy, it seemed easy to be a Jew, born into it, surrounded by family, sheltered from the larger world. Sure, there were incidents. The time I was bullied in school for having kinky N-word hair. The time walking home from services and a passing car slowed down and threw a bag of dog dirt at us. But these were rare. As I got a little older, I got interested in my family's histories. My grandpa Leon, a little guy with big carpenter's hands, who as a teenager in the Pale was conscripted into the Tsar's army, a virtual death warrant for a Jewish boy. Somehow he made his way to New York City, they never said how. He found his bride, Paulina, for whom I was named. And in a tenement on Rivington Street, they brought my father and his five brothers to life. My grandfather, Yosef, whom I never knew. Now, he had a reputation as something of a Ghanif. He left Russia to make his fortune and got himself an auto repair shop in Brooklyn. He made sure to send a photo of himself in a full-length beaver coat to the folks he left behind. And then he and my grandma, Jenny, had eight children, including my mother. I know now that their stories were no different than those of lots of Ashkenazi Jews who fled the pogroms of 1905, but to me, they were special. I felt like I came from heroes. I was lucky also to have random encounters with brave and committed young Jews. At age 11, I went to summer camp, where one of the counselors was a quiet, unassuming guy named Andy Goodman. I liked him. I came back the next summer, but Andy wasn't there. It was the Freedom Summer of 1964, and he had followed the call of justice to Mississippi, where, obscenely, he and his friends Michael Schwerner and James Cheney were murdered while trying to register black voters. It was a terrible reminder that the Cossacks don't disappear, they mutate. It woke up something in me. Fast forward age 16, I'm at a summer college program in Northern New York State, and I befriend a fellow student who, to my surprise, was a Jew from Cairo. His family were among the thousands of Jews expelled from Egypt by Gamal Nasser in 1956. He had no bitterness, but he had commitment. This 16-year-old kid made damn sure that he and I helped make Shabbos minions for the tiny local Jewish community there. I've come to realize another meaning of that phrase. Not only that it's tough to be a Jew, but that we Jews are a tough tribe. We aim for right. We aim for justice. We keep going and we prevail. Now, I have never been religious. My sense of what is central and meaningful about my Judaism was best said by Hillel in response to a Gentile who challenged him to explain the Torah while standing on one foot. Hillel said, what is hateful to you, do not do to your fellow. This is the whole Torah. The rest is commentary. Which brought me when I came to Berks County, not to a synagogue, but to the Jewish Community Center, and ultimately to supporting the Federation. Bill, Amanda, Richard, Sari, Carol, and so many others, they do the tough work of caring for our community, keeping our eyes aimed at tzedakah and justice, opening our culture to those around us, inviting all to participate and learn. Tough work indeed in these times of reinvigorating reinvigorated racism and fascism and nativism and anti-Semitism and just plain meanness. They deserve our full-hearted thanks and support.
So yes, Shvetsu Zainayid, and to all, Shalom Aleichem. The Jewish Federation of Reading hopes you enjoyed this story and getting to know a fellow Jew living in Berks County. Federation is the central organization for issues affecting all Jews in Berks County. It represents us all, working closely in cooperation with local synagogues and community partners. Her gift to Federation supports our Jewish community here in Berks County, in Israel, and around the world. You provide cultural programs through the JCC. You assist Berks County Jews in need through Jewish family service. You combat the growing problem of anti-Semitism. You fund Jewish education for the next generation. To continue these services, we ask you to participate in a very special community campaign. During 2020, generous community members will match dollar-for-dollar campaign increases from both new donors and longtime contributors. Every new or additional campaign dollar donated in 2020 becomes two. If you're not yet a contributor, please consider starting. If you're already a contributor, please consider increasing your gift. Your campaign contribution to Federation keeps our story of Jewish life going here in Berks County.